Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video about Unity. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to create the caustics effect in the URP pipeline, enhancing the beauty of underwater scenes in your game. So, let's get started. First, we need to verify the renderer used by the camera in the scene. Click on the camera object, then check the name of the renderer. Next, go to the settings folder and find the corresponding renderer. Clicking on it will display the configuration details in the inspector. Press the Add Renderer Feature button, and then add the decal option. After completing the setup, return to the scene and add an empty object. Add a decal projector component to it. When you try moving the object, you'll notice a white rectangular area above nearby objects. That's the area affected by the decal. Next, let's create the shader for the caustics effect. Right-click in an empty space, select Decal Shader Graph, and quickly double-click on the shader file to open it. In the Graph Inspector, uncheck Effect Normal and Blend because we won't be using them in the following steps. Let's add a color variable so that we can control the final display effect color. And we need to add a Voronoi noise node in the graph to simulate the underwater caustics effect. Then, let's add some variables to control this Voronoi, such as, offset, for controlling the animation speed. Multiply the offset by time, so the Voronoi will move over time. Add another variable named density to control the density of Voronoi cells. Voronoi also needs UV coordinates to project onto objects. We can use the world positions X and Z of the object as UV coordinates. This way, caustics can be projected onto the objects in the scene. Okay, next, we can connect the output of Voronoi to a power node to control the color range of Voronoi. Finally, add a saturate node to ensure that the output values are within the range of 0 and 1. After clicking Save Asset in the upper left corner, we can go back to the game scene and use this shader. Right-click on the shader graph file and create a material. After creating it, make sure to confirm that you are using our caustic shader. Click on the decal projector object in the scene and assign the material to the one we just created. Adjust the variables in the material until you achieve the desired result. Now that the caustics effect is complete, but we still can't control color transparency. So, let's go back to the shader graph. Add an alpha variable to control the transparency of the caustics. Set the mode of alpha to slider because the alpha value needs to stay between 0 and 1. After saving, return to the game scene. Now, we can control the transparency of the caustics. We can control the projection position and range in the decal projector object. Finally, apply this effect to the underwater scenes in your game, and you'll achieve a beautiful caustics effect. That concludes the content of this video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.